Hello everyone, Peter from Rack Studs here. Uh, what we're going to try and do today, we've had lots and lots of requests in regards to the Cisco chassis to see whether the Rack Studs will actually uh, allow you to mount uh, one of these large chassis in a rail. So we've just got an open frame in our uh, our warehouse and a, um, we've kindly been loaned by Cisco in Auckland a uh, 6500 chassis and that chassis empty weighs uh, 25 kilos, around 55 pounds. So I've uh, put a number of rack studs in. We've got one, two, three, four, five, I think is all we need. All the holes, let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, and I'm gonna see if I can install a Cisco chassis in my open frame using 10 rack studs on my own. So here goes. So, I've just got a couple of nuts to, uh, to get the uh, process started and then I should be able to lift that up on my own and hang that in the frame, hopefully. <laughs> Kick it in at the bottom and do up the two bottom ones. And with rack studs, once you've done the bottom studs up, you can pretty much let it go. So I'll do the top ones. Oop. few more nuts and what you want to be doing with something that weighs this much is just probably um, a quarter to half a turn with a blade screwdriver just to give them a little tighten spin those on so far so good those a little tighten so quite loose the bottom one so definitely don't over tighten them because they even though the rack studs are made of grivery and very very hard the nuts are 30% glass filled nylon and of course you wouldn't normally be sticking something this heavy in an untethered open frame There you go, a Cisco chassis mounted pretty securely with 10 rack studs. Uh, and this is a uh, one of the thicker rails, um, pretty much like you find in the uh, Great Lakes and Le Grand and CPI racks. Thicker rails, so we're using the blue studs. So look out for part two, and uh, we'll populate the chassis with some, some gear. Thanks for watching.